Well, I'm here today to tell you a little bit of my journey. Would you like to hear a little of my journey? I think that might kind of set the pace for why I do the talking I do around the countryside and beyond about getting back to the basics and everything you do. Back in 1985, I was a registered dietitian, just as I am now. I was rushed into hospital, doubled over with pain, and I was told that I had uterine cancer, stage four. My great aunt had been diagnosed with uterine cancer two years before and had died two, two months later. So in my mind, I felt that I had been given a death sentence. At that point, I did go through all of the therapies that were the normal therapies, and that was, at the time, chemotherapy. But after spending three months of talking to the great white telephone in the bathroom, if you get my drift, I ended up stopping the chemo. What does every good patient do when they stop one therapy? They look for everything else, right? And I was no different from anybody else. What I ended up doing was basically traversing the world looking for the miracle cure, the magic bullet. I ended up taking pycnogenol until I looked like pine bark, drinking green drinks until I turned green, and I shot a substance called 714X into my veins from head to toe. But nothing really worked in the long run. I went in and out of remission. And I won't bore you with all the details of that journey, but what happened was that in 1989, I found myself in a wheelchair, 88 pounds, and the doctors told me I had a week and a half to two weeks to live. At that point, I will be quite honest with you, I was ready to go. I was very tired. But for all of you who have kids, you'll probably relate to this. I have a daughter that you can never say die to. Never say no. <laughs> and she was determined. She dashed out of the house in anger. Three hours later came back with banners that she put up all over the house. Think healthy. Think healthy. What could I do? Everywhere I wheeled, there were these banners. Anyway, the next thing she did was the very next day, we dra she drags me off. She's four foot ten, I gotta tell you. This lady is short, but dynamite. She drags me off to a home show. We get to the home show, wheeling in. Now, do you know what a home show is? How many people know what a home show is? Right. <laughs> a lot of you know. Well, you go there to buy equipment and buy items for your future home, right? I've been told I got a week and a half to two weeks to live. What am I doing with this? We wheel in, though, to this home show, and in front of us, there's this loud, noisy, obnoxious machine going off making all kinds of foods that people are tasting from all kinds of whole foods. And of course, I've got to tell you, the guy who was using it was pretty cute. He talked about the nutrient values of raw foods as compared to foods that were processed or cooked. I knew all that, but I had forgotten it as an administrative dietitian. That day was a miraculous day for me because that machine that he was using, I fondly refer to, by the way, as a two horsepower lawnmower for food. You just kind of put the food in and it turns it into liquid. <laughs> so he, when this young man talked about this stuff, it, the light went on in my head. What he did was he took whole food, he took cantaloupe, flesh and seeds, and put them into this big two horsepower lawnmower for food machine and created a slush with cantaloupe. And lo and behold, I held it down. Well, within a month or so, I started to experience a greater sense of wellness. But what was making the difference here? Whole food, B vitamins, the whole complex. They contained calcium, magnesium, selenium, zinc, potassium, iron. The list goes on. They were loaded with the nutrition that my body was just craving. So within a couple of months, we knew that I was starting to have some sort of recovery. It already lasted six weeks longer than I was told. Okay, so the next step though was something else had to be added because what I was getting was not taking me any further. Anybody ever diet out there? Anybody ever go on a diet? 
Yeah, so a few hands out there. You know how you reach a plateau? Well, that's what had happened to me with this. From there, I started to do more research and came down to the realization that I needed to make another change in my diet. I needed to add in some foods that were lower sugar to what I was already taking in. And what I added in was vegetables, wild vegetables and domestic vegetables. We started incorporating that into my diet in the form of soups and slushes and so on, as, as well as the fruit smoothies and, and slushes. And within a short space of time, I really started to feel better and have a, a miraculous recovery at that point that just kept on growing. I was out of the wheelchair very soon after that. And I found myself, after all of this journey, getting to the place of being in a recovered state where I was actually out there feeling good, feeling energetic, and I was reviewing what had transpired for me, it became very clear that what I had done before, when I was only going in and out of recovery, was that I was including in my diet a lot of fractionated, isolated supplements and nutrients that were not doing the job. Temporarily, yes, there is a time for some fractionated, isolated nutrients. Even with my own clients, I'll use certain things, such as coenzyme Q10 or some vitamin C, but not for long periods of time. The only thing that really worked for me was whole food nutrition. If you've listened to what I said, it started with fruit, then we added in vegetables. We also got to the point of adding in grains. Whole grains, though, not bread. But if you get what I'm saying here, it was all whole food, which was why the cantaloupe was working for me and why the vegetables and fruits were working for me because they were not fractionated, isolated nutrients that I was taking in a capsule form. They were whole food, whole food. This body can be repaired when you get back to the basics, whole food nutrition. And I'll tell you, according to the American Cancer Society, 65% and upwards of all cancers are directly related to diet and lifestyle. Degenerative illnesses are all healed by changes in your diet and your lifestyle. You can cut, burn, and poison a tumor all you want, but if you don't change the underlying conditions, it's going to come back. What do you want to do with your life? Want to be healthy, right? The only way is to go back to the basics all the way get back to wholesome fruits, vegetables, and grains, and legumes. The five-a-day campaign, which has been going on for years, has only increased the American average from one serving of vegetables and fruits a day to one and a half. So when I work with people, it's a real challenge to get them up to that amount of servings. So I have to work with them on supplementation as well. But you've heard what I told you. Fractionated, isolated nutrients don't work. So what do you do? What do you do? You can take charge of your health. That's what I feel. We don't have to have osteoporosis and we don't have to have heart disease. People don't have to go through what I went through in the 80s. To have at least a healthy diet is giving yourself a fighting chance in a time when we don't have a whole lot of fighting chances. The power and the raw energy of nature, created by sun, rain, and soil, captured in a vast variety of fresh fruits and vegetables, picked from the vine, the branch, and harvested from the field at the perfect point of freshness. All the goodness of nature's energy, captured in its purest form.